Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here. Michael, it is hump day, Wednesday afternoon. Today is leg and chest day. We're starting out with chest. We got 95 pounds. This is actually my second warm up set. We'll go ahead and start filming here. Let's get it going, guys. All right, guys, let's do a little bit of talking here. So this is my second set, like I mentioned, uh, warming up. I didn't record the first uh, set. I didn't even know if I was going to do a video, honestly, today. Uh, but I'm glad I did. I had a pretty good workout. Uh, so this here, of course, is uh, 95 pounds. The bar is 45, and those are 25s. Uh, that's gym math. Simple gym math. And uh, we're gonna go up. Ooh, look at that pretty belly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Sexy. Anyway, we're gonna work our way up, guys. And uh, like we always do, we're gonna push some heavy weights. Possibly, maybe, we're gonna push some heavy weights. So yeah, uh, pretty good workout. Uh, even yesterday, I still had a pretty good workout, even though I kind of missed doing my shoulders. I did do my deadlifts, and I do mention this later on in the video. So you get kind of a little sneak peek as to the end of the video, the closing. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, doing pretty good so far this week. I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good today, honestly. Even though things were a little bit discombobulated with the horrible storms that rolled through and uh, the electricity going off and on and off and on, no internet. And, and I woke up early super early this morning and I ended up going back to bed and sleeping till like 10 or just after 10 woke up had breakfast and, and all that so it was just kind of a weird day you know how you get thrown off sometimes and uh, that's just kind of what happened so moving on up guys that's 315 you see right there 345 is the bar is 45 Three, uh, that's 345s on each side now. Remember that. So here we threw a 10 on each side, so now we're up to 335. I'm feeling pretty good here. And if you know, uh, my shoulder is bad. I do have a really bad right shoulder, and it goes on down to my bicep and my tricep. And even my shoulder's not great. Uh, my uh, elbow's not great, so. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty good here. And we threw another 10 on, so now we're up to 355. And I want to get three. But unfortunately, I didn't get it. Maybe next time. Maybe, baby. Maybe next time. So you notice I put 2.5s on the end. And uh, so now we're up to 360. I didn't feel cocky enough to go any heavier than this. But we do. Uh, one set of that anyway, and uh, felt pretty good. Felt pretty good, guys. Now, I'm still working my way up to 405, or at least 400, whatever bench. And I don't know if I'll ever get it, but I'm still working my way there. Now we're back down to 315. I wanted to get about, I don't know, I wanted to get about 8 reps or so. And uh, not too bad, though. I get 6. It's not too bad. I'll take that. I wanted to get 8, though. I wouldn't mind getting 10. I'd like to get 10. Now we're down 275. This at 275 I have done for 10 reps a handful of times. And, uh, but today won't be one of those times. Uh, today we're going to get 8 reps, which is still okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. And, uh, yeah, there's always another day. So, you know, eight reps is better than no reps. Now we're back down to the old tried and true 225. And uh, we, we finish out our chest with this. So overall, I've had a really good chest workout today. Now, I didn't do any dumbbells. I didn't do anything else. I'm just kind of, I kind of try to stick to just one movement uh, for each uh, day that I do the body part. I'm trying to keep things simple. A lot more simple than what I have in the past. Right there, I was contemplating, do I want to go down with this again? <laughs> I wasn't sure. That was the hardest 225 I ever done. But I'm glad I did it. 
So this here, guys, now we're switching over to legs. And you're going to notice, I'm telling you, right there. Come on, Mike, get the leg up there. Not only am I going to be doing bench squats, but I'm letting you know that I'm going to keep my shoes on. These shoes that I have on right now are super duper flat. There is no support. Uh, the sole is probably a quarter inch thick, if that, once my big old butt's standing in them. So, uh, and here I've forgot to put my collars on, so I want to put those on. Whew. Luckily, I remembered. You want to use collars whenever you do stuff like squats or uh, barbell shoulder presses. It's a whole lot different than if you're doing bench pressing. Uh, you want to make sure you got collars on. So, uh... And just so you know, yes, my bench is a little high. It's actually 21 inches tall from the floor to the top of the pad. And that is a fairly tall bench. Um, a lot of adjustable benches are a little bit taller. Uh, they do have a lot of mount nowadays, newer ones that are uh, not so far up from the floor. And uh, some of the stuff I cover in the closing, in the closing uh, segment of the video. But, uh, you know, hearing it couple times is uh it's good and especially when you're like me and you forget stuff but uh yeah uh, a lot of there's a lot of adjustable benches out there that are way 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 better and a lot lower and maybe one day i'll get one so we're going up here we're at 225 i was confused my little brain wasn't thinking right if i wanted to sit all the way down and back you know relax kick back grab a coke well, I don't drink it. Grab a water. Or if I wanted to just kind of touch and go. Uh, sometimes I forget what I want to do. Basically, I, I think it's a, a little bit of feeling guilty if I just touch and go. I almost feel like I'm not kind of getting the full effect of the bench squat. I think, I think technically you really need to plant your booty on the bench you know, sit and then reactivate the legs to, uh, to, uh, go back up. You'll notice I'm hurting right there. I wanted to showcase that, uh, just to let you know that, yes, my shoulder, my right one, hurts extremely bad whenever I do, uh, squats. Reaching back like that and then having that weight pressed down on that shoulder is, uh, very, very painful. It is not fun. But you know what? We ain't got time to sit here and complain and cry like a little baby. We gotta get our job done. We gotta work out, guys. We can cry later on. So right here's 275. Looks like to me. And uh, did that pretty good. What I like about this is that I push myself to go ahead and do 10 reps. I thought, well, I'll just do maybe 5 or 6. And I thought, why would I stop at 5 or 6 when I feel pretty good? And I might as well go ahead and push out 10. So I did 10. I was happy I did that. I'm glad I pushed myself. And that's what I was thinking the whole time doing them. Like, if I don't push myself to do 10, I'm going to be upset. So, and right there, yeah, my shoulder is like, hello. Hello, Mr. Michael. I'm going to hurt you right now, okay, buddy? <laughs> okay, here we go. We're hurting. Anywho, I can't believe my shoulder said that to me. So we got uh, 315 right here, feeling pretty good. Getting myself situated. And uh, so here I go ahead and make sure I relax and get myself situated. I got my feet a little farther apart. And, uh, yeah, so I'm doing pretty good there. 315, we're going to get a set of six, which is pretty good. I believe the proper way to do these, like I was saying, is go ahead and sit instead of trying to touch and go. I think sitting uh, is kind of why maybe we do the bench squats. And this is just me spitballing here. I don't know for a fact. Let me know. Well, of course, you know, it can be any reason, I reckon, but... I think sitting down and taking all that pressure off the legs and then having to execute, you know, the standing back up that, whatever you want to call the movement that you're moving upward. <laughs> uh, XL, D, D set, I don't know. You figure it out. Uh-oh. Look right there. Look right there, boys. What is that? That's 405 pounds. 
That's nothing new. I have done bench squats with 405 pounds, but it's been a long time. And I thought, you know what? I feel pretty good today. I'm going to go on up and about to do some 405, boys. All right. I'm happy. My shoulder's not super happy, but, uh, uh-oh. Mm, get down, son. Lord. Get down. And look right here. I'm telling you, we're going to do another set of 405. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy so far. Uh, we're about to get to the closing segment of the video where I'll be taking over on the video talking. I don't have to narrate here. So, uh, I'll let you go ahead and finish up watching this right here, and then we'll hit the uh, end of the video, and I hope you enjoy. So... Yep, stick around guys, we got more to go. Too bad of a little workout, huh? I uh, made myself pretty happy. I want to touch on something real quick before I forget, because I'm bad about remembering. But um, yesterday was supposed to be deadlift and shoulder day. I didn't do my shoulders. Uh, one reason is I'll admit I, I got lazy, and I never let that happen. But I got lazy, and I thought, well, I'll do my deadlifts and. I'll do the shoulders again. You know, I got to do them Thursday anyway, so. Uh, but then what I got to thinking of to make it uh, a little bit better is letting my shoulder take a break. Uh, whenever I do any sort of a shoulder press or I do incline dumbbells or barbell presses, that's where I get the most pull and all this uh, uh, scarred up nasty tissue I got in here. Uh, it's at those angles that I get um, most of the pull. And whenever I do squats, having to come up under the bar and get that arm up under there, and it has that pain that goes all the way down into my bicep and all the way down basically from here, like in this area, like down into my bicep. And of course my, sh my elbow's kind of cruddy too. So anyway, uh, so I wanted to touch on that, uh, just to make note of it. But uh, today I did chest, uh, flat bench, of course, and uh, uh, everything felt pretty good. I mean, I do feel a little discomfort whenever I'm doing flat bench, but not the extent that I do with the incline or shoulder presses. So I did go up to 360 for one. But I was happy with that. Couldn't ask for no better. I did want to get... I wanted to get the 355 for three reps because that's my all-time record on 355 from years ago when I worked out. I did it uh, a set of three, and I wanted to do that, but I got two, so that's pretty good, pretty close. Uh, so that might be a goal that I'm trying to work on is maybe get 355 for three reps. Uh, and then I almost got 275 on my way down for 10 reps, but I got worn out. And, uh, and you see my last set of 225, I was lucky to get that 10th rep. So, and then on the legs, you've seen I did the bench squats. And my bench is a high, it's a tall bench, so it makes it pretty easy. It's 21 inches tall from the floor to the top of the pad, so that's pretty tall. Uh, your benches that you would normally compete on, if you were bench pressing, uh, you would, they, they're usually about 17 to 17 and a half or a quarter or something like that from the floor to the top of the pad. So, if you're going by those, measurements my pad is way way high so uh but it's it's even high for a adjustable bench it's high uh so yeah i did the the bench squats i went all the way up to 405 which i've done before but it felt good doing it because i haven't done it forever uh, and i did two sets of it i thought well i could go back down to lighter weight and do more reps on nah, let's go ahead and do 405 again so i got two reps and two reps that's pretty good 
pretty happy with it, guys. And uh, considering all I've had to eat today was breakfast, which consisted of four fried eggs and a piece of bread with some peanut butter on it, had that for a late breakfast at that because I slept in super late. Uh, so I didn't eat breakfast until like 10 or 10.30 or so, if not later. But And uh, and then I had a can of tuna. I just ate you know, a can of tuna at like 2.15, 2.30, somewhere in there. That's all I've had to eat today. So uh, sometimes you don't got to eat a whole lot to have energy. Anyway, guys, this is a long outro, but I just wanted to touch base on some things. Uh, hey, if you get a little inspiration from the channel and, uh, and I help you to do something and uh, do something great, amazing, uh, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And uh, leave in the comments uh, what you're doing. It don't have to be working out. Just anything good, positive, decent you're doing in your life, let, let us know in the comments. All right? Get up, get out, get ready, go to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!